Hey guys, it's been three weeks since I published my Pluralsight course, Become a Full Stack.NET Developer. Did you know that since then, my course has been ranking number one amongst more than 5,000 courses on Pluralsight? Well, more accurately, this course comes in three parts, and these parts are ranking number one, number 20, and number 38, according to the author's report on Pluralsight. And if you search on Pluralsight, you can see all three parts have five-star rating. Demand for full-stack developers who are comfortable with both front-end and back-end development is increasing constantly, and some companies only hire full-stack developers. So if you want to become a full-stack developer, or if you already are one, but want to take your skills to the next level, you got the right course in front of you. No need to jump from one course or tutorial to another. In this series, I take you on a journey of building a real-world application from A to Z. We start with a requirements document and build working software with clean code, clean architecture, and automated tests in an agile, iterative way. This course is packed with lots of techniques, and if you watch all the lectures and do the exercises, you can transition from a junior-level developer to a senior developer. What if you don't have a Pluralsight subscription? Well, I'm not here to sell you a Pluralsight subscription. But did you know that it costs you only $29 a month? You can simply take one month subscription to watch my course, and I promise you will be completely satisfied. You spend only $29 to learn what has taken me years to master. Is that too much? I guarantee it's not. You invest $29 in developing new skills that would help you get a better job and earn way more money. So if you wanna watch my Pluralsight course, become a full stack.net developer, click on the link in the video description. I'm looking forward to the day you contact me and tell me how much you have learned from this course. Now let me give you a small preview of this course. Hi, welcome to become a full stack.net developer. My name is Mosh Hamadani, and I'm going to be your instructor over the next few hours. In this course, you're going to learn the core skills that every full stack.net developer must know. And you're going to learn all this as part of building a real world mini social networking application using ASP.NET MVC5 and Entity Framework 6. Whether you're a junior level developer and want to learn a systematic approach to build applications end to end, or you have more experience and want to strengthen your front-end and back-end development skills. This course is for you. Now let me give you a sneak peek of what we're going to build. We are going to start with the default MVC project template, which looks pretty boring. And over a few iterations, we're going to turn this into a simple social networking website for live music lovers. So musicians can sign up and list their upcoming gigs, and their followers can see all the upcoming gigs on the homepage or search for them by artist, genre, or location. And then they can add their favorite gigs to their calendar. And here's the interesting part. Once a musician updates or cancels one of their upcoming gigs, users who are attending that gig will see a notification here on the navigation bar when they log in. As part of this, we'll be exploring a lot of front-end and back-end development topics such as Bootstrap, CSS, usability, Entity Framework Code First, RESTful APIs, security, object-oriented design, clean architecture, automated testing, and much, much more. Along the way, I'm going to share with you lots and lots of shortcuts that I use on a daily basis to write code fast. And not only that, I will also show you how to refactor poorly written code into clean, maintainable, and elegant code that speaks. And here's my promise to you. If you watch all the videos in this course and do the exercises, by the end of watching this course, both your front-end and back-end development skills will be at the next level. Are you ready? Let's get started.